Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Tarot of Nella. Today we are going to be doing a collective message. So I'm using my Beetlejuice Tarot deck for this reading today. So if you felt called to this reading, there may be a reason why. So take what resonates for you, leave behind what doesn't. So you have free will to change your future. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can book on my store, which is linked down below in the description bar. Um, so, let's see what is in the collective. What is going on in the collective energy right now? Okay, we have the Magician. What is going on in the collective energy right now? The Hermit, what is going on in the collective energy right now? And we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so in the collective, it does seem that there is quite the energy coming forward of needing to figure out what it is that you want. That's overall the theme that I'm hearing for this reading today, because it seems to me like you're a bit torn between what you should be creating or manifesting right now you can see clearly with the magician card it's about these new opportunities coming in and it's kind of like when we think of manifestation it's kind of like the things that we want to manifest needs to kind of happen at a certain point otherwise we lose track of what we're trying to manifest so because you have the Hermit in the centre, the Hermit card, um, and I love the fact it's Bob that's come out here, uh, one of my favourites, um, it's kind of indicating that you may have lost your track a bit, you may have lost a bit of your track uh, on where you're going because you feel like you're at this point of needing to find what it is you're trying to look, to look out for and manifest because the Two of Swords makes me think you've changed direction. Um, you may have changed direction recently and I feel like you're pushing against something. You can see her pushing against this, this door, right? So it's like you're shutting something out. You're shutting a part of yourself out that you used to have because you've changed. Things you used to want, I feel like you don't want anymore. So you're kind of soul searching at the moment to try and find what you do want now. So it's like a part of you, yeah, you've, you've kind of shut off. You know, we do have the um, Seven of Pentacles at the back. So this is kind of the energy of having that light bulb switch go on and realising what it is that you do want. Because this is about putting in the work, putting in the graft. So it's kind of like you're at this dead end in this sense where you're kind of just like, you've given up in a way and you're kind of like, now where do I go from here? This is what this Seven of Pentacles card is telling me, is that you've kind of kind of given up the will in, in, in something in your life. And now you're kind of looking for some type of direction or purpose. So what is this magician energy? Okay, we do have the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is urging you to kind of step out of your comfort zone. Ten of Wands is actually about when we're releasing heavy burdens and weight, which just means when you feel pressured by society, your environment, or your surroundings to have certain things in your life, whether it comes to a new house, a car, a new job, and that new relationship, whatever it is, it seems to me you feel a bit pressured because we all have you know create things differently in our life at different times we don't have to have everything the same as everyone else and i feel like this is sometimes the issue going on in the collective is because we feel like we've always got to be one step in front of the other person and that's why we have this ten of wands coming out because it's saying look slow down you're going to burn yourself to the ground if you work too hard you're you're, you're working just fine but this is why you're getting confused with certain things that you're trying to attract What's this Hermit energy? 
Because if we think about it, manifestation is meant to be fun. It's not meant to feel like pressure. What is this ham energy? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles, it's kind of like this competitive energy is what I'm picking up. You know, with the Knight of Pentacles, we have this type of energy where it's kind of like you've put yourself forward for a position. You've put yourself forward for some type of role, application, or, or theme moving forward. Because the Knight of Pentacles is like saying that you need to learn more about what you are putting yourself forward for. Because it's kind of like you're sitting and waiting for something to happen. And then you're kind of waiting for your name to be called. You're waiting for that, you know, real type of um, acknowledgement. So if you, is this, it's just, it's just kind of an interesting message here because if we look at this card, she's like a beauty pageant girl, right? Say this is something you used to do. You used to do modeling, you used to do beauty pageants, you used to do something that you, you strayed away from that path now because it's no longer you. That, all those things you used to do is no longer you. You've changed, you've evolved, you want different things now and that's fine. You've outgrown the past you've outgrown the old hobbies or the old career the old interests that you used to have because they no longer you know is something that you want what's this two of swords energy what's this two of swords energy Okay, we do have the king of pentacles so the king of pentacles is really about being strong right stepping into this energy of knowing what's you know gonna make us financially stable but what's also gonna make things more practical and reliable because it seems that we were shutting something out that maybe someone else wanted us to do maybe you felt pressured by someone else in your life to do this beauty pageant okay and then again this is a metaphor this is an example um of what is going on in the situation because you've outgrown a part of yourself and page of swords at the back okay so page of swords is really kind of coming forward of you know needing to find a new message needing to find something for you to cling on to so you can have something new to manifest um so I'm going to, I'm going to further the reading now and I'm just going to pull a bone or two out just to see what messages want to come forward for you. Okay, so we do have the wishbone. Okay, so the wishbone is a symbol of good luck. And this is again a great bone for when you are trying to manifest something into your life, something positive. So this um, wishbone is representing the fact again with the two-sided bone that there are two types of decisions that you're kind of torn between do you go back to what you used to do or do we start something new that we've always wanted to try let's see what else we have in our bones okay so we do have the teardrops here so the teardrops symbolize you know emotions coming out i think it's quite an emotional time to kind of grieve something you used to do or something you you need to let go of because it's no longer serving you and it's okay to have emotion to cry to have tears sometimes we have tears of happiness sometimes we have tears of despair but either way actually crying is a good way to release emotions you know and you often find that after you cry you feel better so if there's something you're kind of crying about because you didn't win or there's something crying you're crying because again an old part of you has gone either way it's good to share shed those tears okay it's good to kind of let those dissolve so what we're going to do now i'm just going to get my casting board and we're just going to kind of throw some charms on here just to see if there's anything else kind of coming through um, within the reading.
Okay, so let's just take a close look. So first off, if we look at the star area, the star tells me that you have plenty of options available to you. You have the bubblegum machine here, okay? So I do see that there is plenty of opportunities for you to go after with what you want when it comes to your life purpose, your inspiration, your freedom, you know, self-acceptance. It do, does seem that you do have plenty of options. So I feel like you soul searching is really going to help along your path. There's definitely things that you need to be harvesting right now, okay? I can see because you do have the Cancer symbol. Cancer could represent the time frame of season, but it's also about being imaginative, okay? So Cancer could represent, um, if you are a water sign or a season of time frame, the things that are going to kind of come to light that you're going to harvest. So Cancer season runs from June to July. So I wouldn't be surprised if something um, in the summertime next year was definitely going to be created. You have the bow symbol here. So the bow symbol is definitely about certain blessings, things that you're starting to kind of tie the knot with. Because there is this inner calling. You do have the wolf. So there is an inner calling um, to do with a certain wealth, um, providence. I feel like you're definitely starting to create more things in your life. Under the ring section, which is commitments, you have the Russian doll symbol. The Russian doll symbol is when we can actually um, open this doll again and again and again until we get to the really tiny baby. I used to love playing with my mum's Russian dolls. Um, So this is kind of interesting because it's saying that there is something you're getting closer and closer and closer towards when it comes to commitments. Okay, so this could be relationships. So between um, the area of the moon, okay, so the moon you have the ghost symbol, one of my favorite symbols. The ghost symbol is actually about your spirit stepping into the unknown, you know, not being afraid of what's out there because we're more curious than anything and this is about having an adrenaline rush towards your feelings which i can see because you have the coin the coin here is actually quite a vintage symbol of you know the fact that there is something in the past that intrigues you so your feelings um it kind of about change and long-term changes that are coming um in regards to transition changes imagination and energy for a lot of you, we have the waves between the man. Now, what's interesting, the half of the crocodile is on the man and the other side of the crocodile is actually on the side of the waves. So if you think of a crocodile kind of coming out of the wave onto land, the man, you know, is very much able to create on land. It's really about traditional male characteristics. Action, this could definitely represent someone of a father figure, or a man in your life, some type of uh, provider. Um, potentially someone who has green eyes as well, because we do have the green eyed crocodile. But I can see there is movement, deep connection to spiritual realms and things that, you know, seem to be quite overwhelming, but I feel like there's gonna be lots of um, spiritual energies moving you towards a person or a situation. Under flight, we have the word play. Play is telling you to have fun, right? Don't take things too seriously when it comes to certain movements because this is all about communication and information, travel and all things in store when it comes to news that are gonna be quite playful. Um, so that's kind of your outsides of your board here. Um, now let's just take a look into the center of your board, okay? So usually the center is quite the energy that means things are happening right now in the present. So you do have a letter. You have this postcard letter, which is torn between crossroads section, which is about making a major life decision, obstacles, or being afraid of moving forward. So if you feel stuck, I do feel like there could be a letter that you're gonna send out or receive. Now we do have the dolphin as well, which is in the flight. Some of you could actually be going to see dolphins or, you know, um, having a trip 
to somewhere exotic or somewhere that is by the sea dolphins is interesting because dolphins are very playful so to have the word play with dolphins um some of you have a spirit animal that is a dolphin as well we have the turtle under woman so this is really about tradition um you know being protective being creative and you know having home this is the home sector of your shelter that you're providing for yourself right now um because we do have the anchor as well which again is about shelter stability staying put so i feel like this is about you know even though you're protecting yourself you still need to kind of navigate away from protecting yourself too much and that's why we have this piece of cake in the center of your reading. So this piece of cake is a symbol that, you know, you deserve a treat now and then, okay? The piece of cake is a slice of happiness, a slice of sweetness, indulgement. The fact you can indulge in your life right now because it seems to me that there is going to be like opportunities come, opportunities and celebrations coming to you. And I think you shouldn't give yourself a hard time for certain things that are happening in your life right now because, you know, sometimes we have to um, take our mind off things. And some there are certain things in life, when we indulge in certain things, it makes us feel good. So just bear that in mind if you're going through a bit of a tough time at the moment. Don't be worried or afraid to just, you know, have fun, be playful, enjoy the experiences you're having because they don't always last so it's just good to grab these opportunities as they come okay so i'm going to get a final overall collective message now what do you need to know to close this reading down okay we do have the five of cups the five of cups is about you know changes coming in where there are things that we have watched go by and it's kind of a message that you know we can't pause time Time does not pause for us. So the Five of Cups is here to let you to move on, to start to kind of capture memories and the happy times that you're spending with others because again, it seems to me like time is passing quite fast right now for you and you just need to take things in. Start focusing on the things that you're grateful for, the things you're grateful to have, you know, and ask yourself that question, what are you grateful for today? Because I feel like this Five of Cups is kind of urging you to, you know, think about the positives rather than things that we're not, we don't have, which again leads you back to that manifestation card. The things that you are changing right now, you're kind of changing your direction of where you want to go and what you want to manifest because the old part of you is gone and that's why we have this Five of Cups because we're kind of mourning the old. Wow, okay, so this is what I have for you, The Collective. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm sending you all lots of spooky love and light.